So there's a few things that you're going to want to know when moving to South Jersey. In this video, I'm going to give you five pros and five cons about living in South Jersey. Let's do it. Hey everybody, my name is Kat Quarterman. I'm a broker sales associate and team leader with the Quarterman Group powered by Compass. If you are looking to learn how to live, eat, sleep, play in South Jersey, then you've come to the right channel. Make sure that you click subscribe and the little bell so you're notified each time a new video comes up. We honestly get so many people who are looking to move to South Jersey that reach out to us for help that we absolutely love it. So no matter what, be sure to reach out to us via text, email, or phone, and we'll be sure to help you too. Doesn't matter whether it's days, nights, or weekends, just make sure you reach out. So before we get started, let's just make sure that we are all on the same page of what is South Jersey. As you can see on the map, New Jersey has 21 counties, and eight of those counties are considered South Jersey. So everything below the blue line is South Jersey. Sometimes people get Burlington and Ocean confused and say it's a part of Central Jersey, but if you ask any South Jerseyan, they will let you know it's South Jersey. So the eight counties are Burlington, Ocean, Camden, Gloucester, Salem, Atlantic, Cumberland, and Cape May. That's South Jersey. So the first pro about living in South Jersey is nature. We are surrounded by a lot of farmland and just wildlife, animals. It makes it very peaceful. I remember when I first moved to South Jersey, I couldn't sleep at night because the frogs were just making too much noise in my backyard. But it was totally fine and different. Um, I could sleep with fire engines, uh, police cars driving by because I lived in the city. But coming to South Jersey at first, the frogs were just making too much noise. Now it's just very peaceful and tranquil that I can go out just even in my backyard just to enjoy some peace and quiet. So moving to South Jersey, you will get a totally different lifestyle um, where you can enjoy some peace, some downtime, listen to nature, listen to the birds, watch the dares, watch the turtles um, in the road, um, and just be able to take nice walks on different trails where you can enjoy nature. Our first con about living in South Jersey is there are no left turns. So if you are driving and you want to make a left turn instead of you staying in the left lane you need to go to the right because all of the left turns are done by like a u-turn or what we call like a jug handle and if you're hanging around in the left lane trying to make that left you will definitely miss your turn and it'll take you a few more minutes on your commute i know moving to south jersey i was a speed demon at first so I got lots of speeding tickets, missed a lot of turns, and now I just ride in the right lane. So that way, if I need to make a left turn, I'm ready. But also because the left lane is really made for passing, um, and I'm no longer that speed demon where I'm passing everyone anymore. Our second pro is our proximity to all of the major cities, so location. Living in South Jersey, it's very easy to get to New York, Philly, DC, even if you want to go into the mountains, into the Poconos, it's just a very easy commute. I would say into New York City on public transportation, so like New Jersey Transit, and even the bus, it'll take you about an hour to get right into New York City. If you're driving sometimes, it can take you an hour as well, maybe an hour and 15 minutes. To get into Philly, depending on where you're coming from in South Jersey, 30 to 45 minutes. Going into DC, it'll take you probably about, I would say maybe an hour or two, um, depending on traffic, but it's a very easy commute. So we have a lot of people who live in South Jersey, but still commute into New York City for work, commute into Philadelphia and the outskirts for work, um, and definitely go into DC, Baltimore for play. And traveling into the Poconos is, is very simple, um, easy and fun. Our second con of living in South Jersey 
is limited public transportation. It's not like living in the city where you have a bus stop on every corner or bus stops are limited and then the bus doesn't take you everywhere. So you need to know which buses take you where and also the schedule. Same thing with the bus that goes into New York City, also going to the railway or to New Jersey Transit, Amtrak, you do need to know the schedule. Public transportation runs on that. I know when I commuted from New York City back home to South Jersey, I needed to make sure that I knew the schedule, that I was trying to get there five minutes earlier to the stop, just so that way I wouldn't miss the train or the bus to get back home. That also makes it a little difficult if you are traveling by public transportation to places like the city, because you may not be able to just come home whenever you feel like it. You would need to know the schedule to get back home. A lot of my clients have at least one car in the family, so they will get driven to the bus stop or to the train stop and then also picked back up. I don't really have many clients who don't have a car. If you don't have a car, it may be difficult to get around in South Jersey, even just to the supermarket um, or any of the stores to the mall. I would say you need a car. You can also use Uber and Lyft. We do have that as well. I would just say that it's not as common, so your wait times may be a little bit longer. Our third pro about living in South Jersey is the community living. That brings a lot of activities. We have Easter egg hunts in different counties and also different towns that children can go to. You will also see lots of different festivals, fall festival, spring festival, blueberry festival, wine festival. We have a lot of that in South Jersey. The communities are pretty much tight knit. We also have a lot of developments where you get community living, where it's a townhome development, condo development, single family home development. You'll see a lot of that in South Jersey, which makes it nice um, because you're able to live amongst other people and enjoy different activities with them. The third con about living in South Jersey is limited nightlife. If you are a dancer and you love to go out to the different clubs and dance your night away, unfortunately, that's limited here in South Jersey. Most of the people will go into Philly, even New York City, if they enjoy the dance and the nightlife. There are lots of bars and pubs here in South Jersey, but um, many of them may close a little bit earlier. So uh, not to not to talk about how I was when I was younger, but if you're the kind of person that enjoys getting to the party at 1 a.m., 2 a.m. in the morning, that's probably the time that it's ending here in South Jersey. The fourth pro about living in South Jersey is the affordability, the cost of living. And it, and it really depends a lot on where you're coming from. Of course, if you're coming from a city area, you'll get a lot more bang for your buck here in South Jersey, as far as the size of the house that you'll be able to get, just that you'll be able to get some yard space for the same amount of money that you would spend in another town. So when I was first thinking before I got married of buying a town home in Jersey City, which is North Jersey, I was about to spend $500,000, not get any yard, and um, maybe it was about 1,500 square feet. And my husband, who I was dating at the time, said, why don't you look at South Jersey? You'll get so much more for what you're spending. And I actually got more for less money. So that's what I mean by affordability and um, cost of living. Of course, uh, gas prices are a little bit cheaper when you're talking about coming from a city-like area or maybe even another state. So South Jersey makes it um, where you can stretch your dollar a little bit further than if you were in other areas. So the fourth con about living in South Jersey is a lack of sidewalks and bike paths. So a lot of the areas that you may choose to live in will not have sidewalks or the um, street lights. So it's almost like you're walking at the end of somebody's yard. And that doesn't mean that the area is very busy or a lot of cars drive down that road. It's just that there aren't any sidewalks and some people will just ride their bikes, walk their dogs, take their children for a ride in the stroller, just ride along that path. I want to call it like a green path because you're like at the edge of someone's yard. The lack of bike paths are also um, something that's of a concern because the bikes are usually just riding 
to the far right and there is no designated path for them to follow that is improving in south jersey where they are starting to create more bike paths and of course if you're a walker or a jogger you sort of go along those paths as well but in the meantime if you are looking for a community that does have a sidewalk then you have that or most often it's no sidewalks no bike paths and you're just walking along the side so my last and fifth pro about living in South Jersey is that you don't really need to practice parallel parking. So I remember going to college in New York, in Brooklyn, New York, I had to be a pro at parallel parking because if not, I would be late for class because I couldn't squeeze into the tightest spot. Here in South Jersey, it's mostly parking lots where you just pull into a parking space when you're going out to the different stores, um, even to the mall. A lot of the malls will have valet parking as well. And even if you are going into a town that is a little bit more city-like, um, like I know when I go into Haddonfield, Haddon Township, Collingswood, sometimes I'm, you know, I have to find I have to parallel park. I have to actually find a park on the street. But there are parking lots, and the parking lots aren't as expensive as they would be in Philadelphia or in New York City, where you may pay $25, $30 for a parking spot, you know, to, to park in a parking lot. I would say it'll be like $5, and you'll get to park a couple of hours or maybe even for the rest of the day um, and be able to enjoy shopping and, and walking to everywhere that you need to go. So I enjoy not parallel parking. Of course, I know today many cars will park for you, and then you do have the backup cameras. So when I do need to find street parking, I'm still okay, but that's because of the vehicle and not necessarily my park parallel parking skills. The last con about living in South Jersey is the traffic congestion and that really depends on what part of south jersey you often commute to or that you live in and you're commuting from i really don't experience a lot of traffic you know based on where i live and where i need to go each and every day but i do know when i'm going to different areas to show homes if it's more like around morning time if it's closer to that nine o'clock commute where people are trying to get to work then i may experience a little bit of a delay same thing in the evening. If it's time to go to um, go home from work, then I may experience a little bit of a traffic delay. Um, and it's not traffic where I'm stuck in it for like an hour or two. It may be like a 15 minute delay in my commute. And as long as I know when I need to travel, then I sort of plan accordingly. But it can be a little congested depending on where you're commuting to and from in South Jersey. I'm telling you right now, it can be challenging to navigate where you should live, what city you should pick to live in, in South Jersey. All my team has to do is just hear about a few things that you like, some things that you're looking to stay with, whether it's live near friends, family, your workplace. Once we understand that and some particulars about what you're looking for in your new home, whether it's number of bedrooms, the style of the home, you need a yard, you don't care about a yard, you want parking, we can help you choose which towns that you should explore to live in. Sometimes it could be just what you like to do. Lots of times people are like, hey, I wanna be able to be driving distance, maybe just a 10 minute drive from public transportation or an easy commute to get into the major road so I can get into work. But whatever those particulars are, you let us know and we're here to assist you. Most often when buyers call, we already have an idea of based on what they tell us, some towns that they should look at and sometimes they're looking at certain towns that may not necessarily meet those needs. Our team is honest and open with you, and then we let you make that decision of what's best for you. But the only way we could help you is if you reach out. So make sure that you call, text, email, and we'll be sure to answer and have that conversation with you to find you your next home. So that could be days, nights, weekends. Just let us know we got your back when you're moving to South Jersey.